Welcome back to Terror by the Bay. I'm David. Okay, so it's the big day. Well, tomorrow is the big day, but by the time you're seeing it, this is the big day. Uh, Ivanka is testifying against her dad. Now, it was interesting. A couple of questions that came up um, on my reading from this morning was asking if Donald Trump was going to be in the audience. Never even occurred to me to ask. Now, I read on that with Marina tonight. And I got an answer on that, but I want to throw on that just on my own channel, just to to throw it out there and ask, you know, hopefully I should get the, the same answer. Um, will Donald Trump be in audience, be in attendance for uh, Ivanka's uh, testimony on November 8th, 2023 on the New York civil trial? Entertainment purposes only. Um, Four of Cups. It's, this is already starting to align. Okay, so offers you don't like, things you, that you don't like. This could be him uh, not liking what she has to say. They got the end. Working. Happy family. And the burden. Um, the answer I got on the reading with Marina was that he was not going to make it. Uh, and I had the... the um, the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It was like he wanted to be there, but he couldn't be there because he was preparing. So he had some other obligation like that had to do with like the Jack Smith uh, court trial stuff. And I think <clears throat> we're seeing more of that. He's got he's either got some campaign stuff or he's got other things he needs to do that prevent him from being in the court. He wants to be there. Trust me, he wants to be there to hear her testimony, but he's got too much to do. He doesn't have the time or the luxury to hear her testimony. He's working. He's working on making money or working about his money. So he's not going to be there because he's doing something with regards to either fundraising or um, preparing for trials or something like that. But he's he's not going to be there for it. Um it's he he doesn't it, like uh, these two are interesting cards this is obviously the happy family card um he wants to be there to be the the loving support of dad but he's also wondering um you got two tens here two completions ivanka's trump ivanka trump's testimony is really going to be his undoing here and I think maybe he feels if he's there, she won't do that. She'll fall under this way. But he might be wondering if her testimony is going to be his salvation or his ending. But even the stuff he's doing outside of it is going to be about his salvation or ending. So he had to make a choice and he had basically was told what his choice was. And his choice was, no, you don't get to see her try, see her testimony in person you can read about it he wants to be there though i think though well that the interesting part is you know is he gonna like what he hears now again i this that's the next question um what's his opinion of ivanka going to be what's his emotional opinion going to be after he hears ivanka's testimony actually no i'm skipping ahead how will ivanka's testimony go this just this is going to be a repeat, a quick little repeat of my reading yesterday. But how is Ivanka's testimony going to go tomorrow? And then I'll ask how he's going to feel about her testimony. But how is her testimony going to go tomorrow? Entertainment purposes only. Let's see. Tomorrow being today, <laughs> as you watch this. Oh, there's that happy family. It's about the business and everything that it's about the business and the success of the business. This card was there, but. With Ivanka, it's winner takes all. So who's going to, who? basically, who's going to go off? Who's going to ride into the sunset? And who's going to prison? <laughs> it's me or you, Dad. She's going to come forward and she's going to talk about her very small role with this bank thing. But she's going to talk about the money and who did what with the money. And she's going to minimize her role with the money. And she's going to maximize the role of her father and her brothers with that. In the past, 
Knight of Swords. She, again, she's been dreading this moment. She does not want to testify. She doesn't want to go against her father. But in the end of the day, she's the one most like him. So when it push comes to shove, who, whose butt is she going to save? She's going to save her own butt. She's been practicing her testimony with her lawyers. She's been practicing what she's going to say. She's going to be very careful and measured with her words and her actions. She is not going to perjure herself. She's going to, two nights, she is going to talk about the money and who knew about the money, who was doing what, and who was responsible with it. Another night, good Lord, you got a trifecta of nights. She is going to try and present herself as a friend to the court. Outcome, Page of Wands, she's going to be on her own. This is a this is a whole new world for her. Um, speaking against her father and basically holding him to account through her actions. Got a couple of pages here. Minimize her stuff. She's going to minimize her role. <clears throat> but this is going to, all these night cards, all this action, her testimony is going to be very key in this. She's going to tell basically who did what, who knew about the money and who was basically misrepresenting stuff with her, her brothers and her father. All those nights. Yeah, she's going to, she's really going to drive this case forward. Now, how is, how's her father going to feel after her testimony? How is Donald Trump, or should I ask how Ivanka is going to feel after her testimony? How's that? Scott? That's, we'll, we'll end with Donald. You know, I, I keep teasing it. Okay, how's Ivanka going to feel after her testimony tomorrow? When she's off the stand and you know, she goes home, has a drink or whatever it is that she does, how is she going to feel about herself, about her testimony, her, the, the relationship with her father and her brothers? How is she going to feel after it's all said and done? Come on, stay right there. Thank you. Page of Cups. Uh, they're not. They're they're looking at her in an all new light. <laughs> it's a word that begins with a B and rhymes with rich. I think is they. There's going to be a lot of. Hurt feelings, cold shoulders, and stuff like that. It's gonna be she's gonna feel really awkward at any family reunions. There we go. Pages. Look at all these pages. All this new stuff. All these these things that we call feelings that she's never felt before. Page of Wands. It's her testimony. Page of Pentacles. Good God! I put these in different parts of the. Come on, are we gonna get the Page of Swords for the win? <laughs> Okay, how is she going to feel? Awkward. Oh, God, this is going to be so awkward. She basically basically gave testimony as to who did what with the money, minimizing her role. This is a new world for her. She's basically throwing everybody else under the bus, and she's minimizing what she's done, and she's going to get out of Dodge. Why? Because she's a mom, and she's got little kids, and she's not going to prison for anything that her brother or father did because she's a mom and she's got kids. And you can't throw a mom with kids in prison. She's going to feel, I guess, not, guilty may not be the right word because it's not really guilt. Awkward. She's going to feel awkward about them. Kind of like, you know, if you were bad-mouthing somebody or talking smack behind somebody's back and um, you realize that it got back to them. Like, you know, you're talking smack to somebody and you didn't realize that their best friend was there listening to you run your mouth the whole time. And you know you're going to run into that person later in the day and they're going to know everything that you said. It's going to be that kind of awkwardness. She's going to have to find a new group to eat her lunch with it. Uh, and high school, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Her group of friends is about to change. Okay. How is Donald Trump going to view her testimony? 
this was interesting because in the Marina reading, what I got from it was he was so admiring of her. It's almost like he didn't hear the words. Like, oh, look how poised and professional she is. And she looks great. And he missed the whole point where she was throwing him under the bus and saying that he did all these crimes. We'll see if we get a sub something somewhere. How's Donald Trump going to feel about Ivanka's testimony after she's done? Uh, emotionally speaking. Everything's revealed. She's told the truth. Donald the Trump, <laughs> the truth is not Donald Trump's friend. Maybe he understands Ivanka for truly. I think what it is, he's going to understand Ivanka for who she truly is. <laughs> okay, so in my reading with Marina, it sounded like he didn't pay attention. I think he paid attention. Um, he now knows who she is, and she's not welcome anymore. He's gonna. He misses the day where he was the daddy and she was the little girl, and he doted on her, and everything was great and wonderful. Um, but those days are behind. Uh, he, and here's the thing: the way Trump operates with his money, um, he uses the money to hold people hostage. You know, and Ivanka's got money. Her husband has money. So they're not, um, they're not beholden to him. So, you know, he can't really hold anything over her with, um, with this. Um, I, yeah, I, he wants to boot her out, but it doesn't do any good because she's not, she's not a victim of his. She's, 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 um, <coughs> She's not beholden to him. So does he keep her or let her go? He's he's going to miss her. He he misses the way that they were. And he doesn't know what to do now. Because he, he, he's confused. Because he sees Ivanka. Ivanka is like the most amazing woman in the world. He'd marry her if, he, if it wasn't his daughter. And yet at the same time, she told him. <laughs> she, she told him. She told the truth. A very untrumpian like thing to do, this side of Mary Trump. Um, I think he's going to have mixed emotions. And I, it's not really a betrayal card, but it's kind of like the, I think he, I think he feels like she was coerced. There you go. She was coerced and forced to say these things because he doesn't want to kick her out because he loves his daughter in a weird way way that Donald Trump loves his daughter because he's super cray. Um, we'll see We'll see how the uh, Truth Social posts go after her testimony tomorrow. But I suspect he might try to make excuses for her that she was forced to testify, so on and so forth. But um, I will be very, very curious to see... Um, how things go. Right? So my prediction is he may say some things about her being coerced and a witch hunt and so on and so forth. I think Eric and Don Jr.'s social media accounts are going to be strangely quiet. That's what I'm looking for. Look for Don Jr. and Eric Trump's social media accounts and, and their spouses to see what they say after her testimony is done. Okay, that's it for this rating. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for everything you do to feed the YouTube algorithm so that my video makes it out to new viewers. To those new viewers, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.